Imagine running a successful business without sacrificing your family time. Sounds impossible, right? Steve Cho, in his book, The Family First Entrepreneur, proves it's not. This concept is all about maintaining a healthy balance between the hustle of entrepreneurship and the joys of family life. It's not just about making money, but about making memories too. So how does one achieve this delicate equilibrium? Let's dive into the 10 lessons that Steve Cho shares in his book to achieve this balance. Lesson one is all about prioritizing family. It's easy to get caught up in the hustle and bustle of entrepreneurship, but family should never take a back seat. In fact, your family can be your great... your support system, your cheerleaders, and your reason for wanting to succeed. So make them a priority. Include them in your journey. Treat them as your partners, not distractions. Remember, the family is not an obstacle to success, but a catalyst. Great family and business. First off, setting boundaries is key. It's about knowing when to wear your entrepreneur hat and when to take it off and be a family member. The second lesson emphasizes the importance of scheduling. Having a clear and precise plan helps you allocate time effectively between your business and with work, but about sharing your journey, your challenges and your triumphs. It makes them feel included and appreciated the fourth lesson is about maintaining physical and mental health. You can't pour from an empty cup. Regular exercise, a balanced diet, and adequate rest are not luxuries, they are necessities. These lessons are not just about managing time, but about managing energy and focus. The last five lessons provide insights on how to sustain the family-first approach. Moving on to lesson six, we delve into the significance of continuous learning. In the dynamic world of entrepreneurship, stagnation is a pitfall. As Steve Cho emphasizes, the thirst for knowledge should be unquenchable. Always be open to new ideas, skills, and perspectives. It's about learning to navigate the ever-changing business landscape while keeping your family at the forefront. Next, lesson seven is about adapting to change. Change is inevitable and it can be daunting. However, the ability to adapt is a mark of a successful family, first entrepreneur. Embrace change, whether it's in your business, personal life, or the world around you. Remember, change is often the catalyst for progress. Lesson 8 underscores the importance of cultivating a supportive community. Surround yourself with people who understand your vision and can provide emotional and practical support. This could be other entrepreneurs, mentors, or even your own family. They can provide a sounding board for ideas, encouragement during tough times, and even a reality check when needed. Lesson 9 emphasizes maintaining financial stability. While entrepreneurship involves risks, financial stability should not be compromised. It's about striking a balance. Take calculated risks, but always have a safety net for your family. These lessons remind us that being a family-first entrepreneur is a journey, not a destination. It's about blending your passion for business with your love for family and understanding that both can harmoniously coexist. So what do these lessons tell us? They paint a picture of the entrepreneurial journey that redefines success. It's not just about profit margins or market shares, but about the people we cherish and the lives we lead alongside our business ventures. The first lesson, and perhaps the cornerstone of Steve Cho's philosophy, is prioritizing family. It's a reminder and shouldn't overshadow the bonds that truly matter. Setting boundaries is another crucial lesson it's about knowing when to switch off the business mind and tune into the family. It's not always easy, but it's essential for maintaining a healthy work-life balance. The change is the only constant in the business world. To stay relevant and competitive, we must always be willing to learn, adapt and grow. And finally, we can't ignore the significance of maintaining financial stability. It's not just about the money but about the security and peace of mind it brings. It allows us to take calculated risks without jeopardizing our family's well-being. These lessons serve as a compass, guiding us through the tumultuous journey of entrepreneurship. They remind us that business is a part of life, not the other way around. They inspire us to create a life where success is measured not just in dollars and cents, but in love, laughter and shared moments of joy. As Steve Cho puts it, 
Success in business doesn't have to come at the expense of family.